Your right is a boat. AV's passing and Russians are just <laughs> along the riverbed there and that is a fantastic Run, engine right, shot. Right, LAV right. engine and the convoy is gonna have to stop. Second RPG into the side of the LAV. Backup right, LAV 25 is now trying to unload. Yeah, fantastic ambush knocking out that lead vehicle. AV's gonna have to get around now. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of I Am The Sky, where we take a look at a gamer squad from the top down, and then this one, we have the US Marines up against Russia on Manicugan. This is Manicugan Invasion V5, and it's not your usual Manicugan layer. Yes, we have the dam, yeah, we have a giant map, but everything south of the dam is flooded. I know we've had at least one episode of the flooded Narva map here on Eye in the Sky, but this is like so much more intense when it comes to requiring amphibious vehicles. The massive river that splits both the north and south side of the map is giant now, and almost every single objective is like waist deep water where you have to ford around and really plan on where you're moving if you're infantry. As you move through the map, there's also some objectives as as you'll see that are literally just islands. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything. I don't want to spoil anything, but just quickly take a look at how long this video is. Yes, it's almost two hours long. And if you know squad, the most amount of time a game of squad can last is exactly two hours. So yeah, this one is a banger. It's one of the best, if not the best games of squad I have ever seen on Eye in the Sky. So I'll just leave it at that. I think you guys are going to have a blast. Grab a drink, grab some snacks, kick your feet up, get comfy. This one is going to be a good one. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and drop me a comment below with a map, game mode, or faction you'd like to see in the next one. And don't forget to check out the live streams over at twitch.tv slash moidog, where I stream throughout the week. But that's it for me. Enjoy the video. Peace. All right. I in the sky. Manicugan. And this is Manic. <laughs> you can see... There's a whole uh, river ecosystem now. This is flooded, Manic. Um, one of the maps that probably all y'all have never played before. They released it, and I think server owners might have had it once in the rotation and true. then never put it in yeah, again. Why not? Fuck it. So uh, uh, it's Manicugan, but you have yeah. almost every, That's even the objective here. I mean, this is, you, you can walk yes, around yeah. on this. Uh, but it is all kind of flooded. The whole area, the whole map itself is pretty much just a wetland um, with deeper rivers and stuff. So it's going to be a bit tough for infantry. It's going to be tough for the boats and amphibious vehicles. But we are on board with the USMC who have the uh, the rib boats. Uh, they have five, one, two, three, four, five AV, uh, uh, LAVs. Um, three AAVPs with the 50 cals and uh, grenade launchers, and then one Huey, as well as a few more uh, AAV Lodgies. Um, Russia has the MTLB Lodgies, uh, they're amphibious, a uh, couple boats themselves, two scout cars, two BTRs, and a BMP-2 in addition to their helicopters. So, um, it's gonna be Mimi. It's gonna be chaotic. And we're gonna see what happens. Uh, Logistics Center down to Logging Camp, all the way to Firebase, Boris, then Fermont, Antenna Facility, and that's it. So, not too many objectives in this one, but I'm going to be honest, uh, it's going to be almost impossible for the Marines to win. I would love for them to win. I just don't know if it's going to happen. Because this type of stuff, I'm all on board with this type of stuff, right? I mean, this is badass. It's cool. I just don't know how well it's going to work. Multiple AAVs, LAV-25s. So we can let the AAVPs get on land first. And... Remember, I'm thinking of trying to get in through move mark. If you dismount us maybe on the east side, like here, we could proxy their hab. Or maybe you just drive right in and kill everyone with high explosive. We have a couple, you see, RPGs, these lats. No and a exactly rifleman as well as a we shall see. this is a russian boat along the bend here 
You can see him just in the center of the screen here. As the Marine Huey goes above as well. Like they should be able to get there in time, but they don't have like enough time to set up. We'll see what happens. Machine guns opening up already. Oh shit, Dick. Oh shit, Dick. We got boats. Boats and hose. <laughs> on my observe mark. Boats and hose on the observe mark. I will say at least uh, we have some good command chatter. Oh, Not yeah, like that was a good command chat. What I mean is that uh, people are talking, which is always good. Um, rather have kind of Mimi command chat than nothing. Come around the corner here, and it's, they got to be careful. You got Russian. Towards, uh, squad four move mark. Okay. LAT is going to be nearby, and there you go. Right squad in the red outlines. Just to your right is a boat. AV's passing, and Russians are just Easy along there. the riverbed there. And that is a fantastic uh, engine uh, shot. Uh, LAV uh, engine, and the convoy is going to have to stop. Second RPG into the side of the LAV. Back up LAV-25 is now trying to unload. Fantastic ambush, knocking out that lead vehicle. AVs going to have to get around now. LAV-25 trying to mop them up. And let's see, yep, Dizzy Roll and his buddy get wrecked a little bit. But you got Grizzled Neil alongside him. Golden, Golden Potato, they're pushing through. They're going to drop some dry smoke and say, hey, uh, sucks to be you guys, but we got to keep moving to the objective. As Hydra and Jamsheed okay, get their copy, engine back copy. up. We're trying to look out for lots and hats for you. And like is clear, actually. you got Hat Enjoyer. Is he a hat? No, he is a GL and he is a Marksman. J is a Marksman. So, uh, not too much going on on the objective. We can see the outlines here. J is getting lit up by the LAV-25. Hat Enjoyer is going to get killed here shortly. Um, good little convoy. Uh, to start and hold on, cheater sponge. I think it's clear. I don't know if they defend the last the one. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if he's he, is he on the machine. Gun? Yeah, he is. is. All right, nice, nice. Good work, guys. Forces, All right. Hostile forces, hostile forces. There's some upstairs. And Fritz finishes off the boat from cheater, trying to get shots on that Huey. But there you go. Hat Enjoyer one, is... The to the south. We need 600 build. Hold 600 on, let's build see. You got a whole camera. squad of Marines uh, versus one. This is Took care of the boats on the north side. <laughs> Where are the people that are hiding? There we go. Oh, no! He's going for the... Uh, he went for the knife! Nice bandage you. Oh, he did! He nailed it! With the knife! That was Good. successful. Hopefully they're not super fiving the next point. And, uh, cool. there you go! Played. Objective cleared! <laughs> I appreciate it, one. Where does it go after this? Does it follow the base, base layers normally? Or is it gonna go south to lodging or west? So logistics Get center. I mean, not. I mean, it's very difficult. Oh, hold on a second. What is happening? Oh my goodness, Russia. They. This is so, so dangerous. Yeah. I actually, I want you guys Defending right now. You, you need it. Let me know. Is this super fob gonna work? The the I agree. We should take the southern half. So logistics the center well, is being capped sure almost for free. Fob. Logging camp is being capped for free. There's not a single Dude, Russian on the up. point. We're coming. And they, yes, the Russians, are now relying on. Uh, an objective. You can see the outlines way off in the distance. It is like an island, actually. Firebase Boris is a is a flooded island. Only boats and lodges. They look like they're trying to super fob this thing. Um, Same thing. Probably send the AVPs. I in, don't know if this is the best decision. Let me go scout. But I like it. From a purely, I'm not so experiencing it. <laughs> Because it might be very fun to watch, but I, I have the feeling, Firebase Boris, if you want to do this type of super fob, um, I would put the radio maybe somewhere over here if you could. I don't know if you can put it on this stuff. But make it so you can also have a backup fob here. So you have a hab that's spawnable or traversable somewhere over here. One, scout west, right now, scout west, one. this looks like it's going to be an easy wipe from artillery. Uh, just an As we're wipe. going to cap without losing a single ticket. Um, Stop saying impressive. that, we're gonna all die at once. Yeah, that's impressive. <laughs> we're all gonna get controlled. Turn the quick camera you know, movement, the helicopters. 
flanking around here. So, helicopter is trying to get eyes. Burning Man. And a scout car right below the Huey. Is this Burning Sinking Man? Did man someone just like say, it. is this Burning Man? <laughs> is this... <laughs> Ever just stuck in water? Oh, my God. Oh, that's topical. Oh, that is topical. I like it. Um, a squad uh, one in the helicopter trying to fly around, see where he's at. Soviet gnomes is a Russian in the BRDM. Um, definitely heard that helicopter. Not sure if he's able to do anything. Now this is a, a little risky. Yeah, this is gonna be a convoy game, guys. So we're gonna roll roll out convoy, convoy gang. Huey's trying to figure out where objectives might be. You actually have scout cars all around here just hiding in the woods. Fob? What point do they super fob? Is it logging or is it one of the island ones? It's either a camp or it's going to be where one is right now, to the west of one. No, they're not there. Copy. Oh, and scout car they opens they, up. Like, Rizy like, says they're not there. BRDM. Oh, he's, he's going to be able to I'm save him. Trying to fly low. Might have just gotten I'm out of range. BRDM with a fantastic Goodbye. opening barrage, and Huey needs to touch down and put that fire out. Camp? Oh, and he might just be able to do it in time. Camp is clear, camp is clear. Yeah, oh, it's, it lives a little deep. It is a little deep. That was... Uh, there's a Vic somewhere between logging <laughs> camp and that island. Um... Yeah, that honestly, uh, that could have worked if it wasn't... Water. <laughs> oh, there you go. Um, Huey well, did fantastic kind of wave on. off, do dove underneath the trees, and they've decided to just push on uh, through, even though they've lost a the helicopter. They know there's not much around here. If anything, it's a scout car. We can see Soviet gnomes right around here. I was the first to die. Soviet gnomes in that BRDM is in a fantastic position. These LAVs need to be yeah, careful. Soviet already knocking out a, a Huey, and these scout cars can tear right through Same LAV tickets, armor. Does anyone want scout to car in the front left. No one's them. seen anybody yet. LAV hit into the water. Scout car is a perfect shot, and he's opening up. LAV doesn't know where he's coming from. And there he goes, aggroing the entire Marine convoy. And AP rounds just shredding that lightly armored scout car. Nice defensive smoke, and the front LAV-25 should be safe to RTB. The smoke animations, explosion animations, tracers. I'm going to be honest. I don't really like the the kind of overcasty. It's re really difficult for me, especially if USMC in Russia, a lot of the same kind of darker Russian uh, or green camo, same with Canadians. It's very difficult for me to see playing infantry it's like bush wookie simulator 9000 but visually oh man the smoke effects is absolutely beautiful looks so good so so good okay so uh one scout car down for russia losing a couple boats and infantry but that is it firebase boris looks to be like the go-to the caps going come on man Gust it together and command is on a boat just I'm guessing it's going to go west, probably to uh, Vandu. Don't get too horny, guys. And Command is in a boat all by himself, actually. This is usually not how you want to lead your troops. And he's getting a little bit of lost. Uh, it's not unlikely that objectives would be around here, so pushing watch out for lane lines to the town there. is okay. You guys to watch out for lane um, lines. Squad, oh, I just whacked my microphone, sorry about that. Uh, the squad, I'm just so excited about the flooded uh, Manicugan <laughs> and the potential super fob. Um, okay, I, I like what is happening here. Squad 7 that has, has put up a denial fob, okay? If you're going to super fob, if you're going to fob up an objective, and once again, this is all very subjective. Sometimes it's okay to put a fob on the point. Sometimes it's not. A lot of people say don't put fobs on the, the point. Don't put habs. Yeah, sometimes it's okay if you have other fobs. You know, 
it's kind of objective dependent. Um, this is not a bad place to put a fob because of the natural environment. Look, you're, you're on an island, right? It's not a bad place to put a fob. If you're going to put a fob on an objective, this is a pretty damn good objective to put on it, right? This Squad 7, right however, way. has done the smart thing, and they have set oh, up... No. As, I just as command realizes they, they're on a super fob position, Squad 7 has put up a fob where the attackers you know, would normally time, try to set up. Uh, so you are denying this fob. Then, but if we really need... I'm telling you guys, smarters. <laughs> Not wrong. Uh, so they're denying this fob position. And even just with a squad, it's going to be very difficult to uh, try to root them out as the Marines. Because you can see, look at all this water they got to deal with. Now, th this might be true. However, Russia has just given up two points for free. Hey, it's picking up the rear that is an extra 200 money. tickets. And you can see 390 tickets for the Marines and 782 for Russia. Russia losing about 20 and uh, Marines only losing 10 or so right now. And, uh, I mean, that's a, a helicopter and maybe a couple give-ups, people just swapping kits or something stupid at the, at the uh, start of the game. Nothing really happening. Yeah, honestly, should we just wait a little bit? Get, get a bunch of habs set up around and, uh, and then just charge at them? Yeah, RD them and push them. It's 15 minutes. I mean, I'm, I'm totally fine with waiting. Let's see. You can look at all the... They're getting the actual large HESCO blocks. All the people Pretty shoveling with the razor wire. I love this. Look at all the nonsense they've got. We don't this is like, this is fun, right? Yeah, this is fun. Sometimes, yeah, if that. you do this all the time in squad, it can get exhausting, right? Every once in a while, just a nice little, like, yo, let's uh, fob a stupid island. Yeah, I'm down with that. I am 100% down with that. So you don't have much cover up there. Let's see what else they have up here. So a bunch of watch towers. They have a scout car. Of a hab and just start um, MG up here. Base. That's actually pretty nice. Yeah, I'm gonna need a quick uh, another watch tower. I mean, this is yes. actually kind of well designed. Our heli is up I think I'd like to see. I don't. If I'm missing it, let me know. I have not seen Seconds. an ATGM yet, though. Oh, coffee. <laughs> No ATGM. Honestly, you just place no, no. the radio where you're at. Oh, actually, that's not a 50 cal bunker. Or, sorry, a, a cord machine gun bunker. That's a regular bunker. Um, they definitely need some weapon emplacements. As some 40 mics now. Oh, they're starting to get hit. Russia's freaking out a little bit. I mean, you can see it's from way I'm down. My 40 mics. Squad 7. Can I see something there? I don't even know where they're at. I mean, they are just yeeting these 40 mics, just trying to see if they get to the, uh... Damn, that point is get so to the far point. away. God, I need 400 build on nine, and then... So, respond. looking at this, how I think... Dude, the command had mentioned before, yeah, yeah Squad 9 setting up a fob. You should also have a fob somewhere around here. Um, and then definitely something on this side. And hold on, we're gonna see... Well... I don't know if this is the best decision, but Jamsheed and is it Hydra are rolling in with their LAV on the other side of the river, doing a little forward scouting, BMP2 as well, north side. And hold on, we're going to see this BMP2 because you got AAVs coming in. Hip helicopter hovering in. I mean, this is, this island super fob though, this is badass. This is pretty badass. This is badass. Toes all over that goddamn thing. All right, BMP2 rolling down the I road here. Yeah, once I set up my hat, but we're in and transport right now. Marines have no idea that you got vehicles on this side of the river and BMP. Oh, you actually have. I love it. You have a BMP crew, but also with lat dismounts pulling out the RPG, aiming it 
and engine. First shot engine for the AAV. And that's going to say, what's up? Yeah, BMP2 with a fantastic is, ambush. Uh, is, uh, oh, those AAVs, though, they take a lot of damage on fire, but that's only one. That 50 cal can tear up a lot of vehicles. I'm wondering where that second AV went. Oh, second AV was able to get out of dodge. Quick golden moving south. Not a bad adjustment there. So now AAV. Uh, squad down to one. Those two AVs were doing quite well earlier. And hold on a second. Now you have LAVs. If you guys just sh sit on that repair station, you just keep popping shots and I'll rearm it. They're trying to do a little bit of damage uh, from the river. Is that a BTR? They start building up that super fob. Oh, it might be an MTLB. See that Russian MTLB using their little machine gun. That's not going to do much damage at all. We got 300. MTLB engine. Let's get mortars up where six is. No, 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 I mean, they're not wrong, right? Like, there's there's two things you can do right now. You can try to... Oh my god, never mind. There's three things you can do right now. So we gotta load two squads into the lab. What is happening right now? Everybody else in the Marines are trying to wait for artillery to set up mortars. You can see mortars now starting to land. And then you have the LAV... On the south side, he's just deciding. Look at this. We're going to turn this outline on for a second. Look at how much infantry is nearby. And he's just charging. LAV just says, I don't care. We're pushing it. Infantry cannot believe. Oh, he takes an HE round right to the face. And this is extremely aggressive. He's just trying to push can't imagine this end well. He's in an absolute maze of a super fob. BRDM is going to come up around the backside too. And oh, tandem round. Oh, so you got that already. Unsurprisingly smashes into the LAV-25. They're on fire. And they need to try to get that fire out. It's going to be almost impossible as they run into the stakes. And you got infantry now dismounting. Are they they're just giving up on the LAV? <laughs> yeah, well, not the uh. How's it tell? Yeah, yeah. Not the most cleanest of assaults, but I, I don't necessarily blame them. You gotta try something. Uh, humongous now pushing uh, Jam Sheed, and oh. And there it is. Is anybody on that half? Final kill there. But the FOB is now hey, uh, under direct Adam, assault. You I steal your logistics AVP? I'm going to use it for yeah, this. You've got indirect fire and oh my goodness. Did they... Is oh, the sheep got a radio down. Speed as the lab and, water? and this is yeah, actually... Is way uh, slow right I think really unfortunate now. Um, so this is going to be a minus you know 20 tickets because sheep gets okay. instantly overrun. Oh, good to know. And I mean, this is a formidable hey, little island. Oh, wait, did six. they get it up? Sheep has gotten the hab up. Unbelievable. They actually oh got it up. God, so six despite being right in the middle of everything and he goes down, sheep actually goes down. Hab has been placed. You have squad five, Mr. Peanut and Bailey Swiggums. I actually don't know. Did the mortar just kill the BRDM? BR oh, maybe the LAV. Uh, BRDM just says, and now we're going to have a massive assault spawn in. Hey, 
Hold on, here you go. Marines spawning in, and they're going to be right next to the massive Boris Island fob. Andy, 6499 in black on the north side, knocks out Jamsheed. Sergeant J. Charge opening up, and they are so close to over on this hab. It's just, there's water in the way. And Commander, use your artillery. We got three and a half minutes still already. Three and a half minutes, that means they need to sit here for three and a half minutes and try to hold on. It's like the Alamo. Oh my goodness! Look at the LAV! Oh no, this is the 40 mic! Was that the radio as well? No, ammo crate. So you have the AAV um, with... Where is he? I'm not even quite sure where he's at, but AAV is popping like GL. Uh, it's 40 mic uh, grenade launcher and just absolutely laying into that island. Mortars as well. Sweet Hagrid goes down. Jet fuel trying to get out of the way of it. But now you have the BMP. The BMP just laying into the HAB. Oh no. The HAB is on, uh, is halfway dead. And Sheep is about to go down. And if he goes down, no one else can repair it. And he's got the HAB back up. BMP is trying to do something about it. I don't think there's anything around. There's no AT nearby for this. There's a BMP2 and a BTR north of fire. Sheep base, is so. somehow shoveling this up. He just oh, and he finally goes down. And they didn't see the the radio right there, but Hab goes down, and there's not gonna be anyone else to respawn and try to get that up. So Russia, very, very good at taking to try to get this going, but we just don't have enough fire support. Oh my goodness, hold on a second. Yeah, they are going after squad two with the fully loaded LAV. We need to get smokes going and we need to get the labs and do another first assault push. Talk about a first assault push. You have a fully loaded LAV trying to get on the east side. Infantry dismounting, you see all those blue names spilling out and they're assaulting as well as the LAV is pushing from the south side. So you got LAV. Uh, on our uh, right off our Spot screen helping support firing into the cliff side on the rocks knocks out a couple Russians holding it near that orange smoke while well, as the LAV dismounts an entire infantry squad Paul mister trying to push up no one's seen him Paul might catch a couple infantry by oh surprise my God, I'm so, oh, my God, I'm oh and they they're on they're, the hab immediately get Paul get out of the way, get out of the way. does trade with Bonadu Fantastic! That's how you do it. You get uh, Squad Five offering support from uh, from behind. Squad Two dropping off the infantry squad. You got a nice little combined arms assault here, and the hab is overrun. This is the side that you need to have if you want to try to push this. So now you have an attack fob out west, way out west. You have a uh, attack fob or maybe an indirect fire fob down south. And teamwork is running. Might have uh, he ran right by the radio. Unfortunately, he didn't hear it. A few are going to be looking around. They should hear that soon. And you're now having the LAV crew double LAVs. They're going to try to push again. And this is just this is the the fun part of squad. People might complain about the super fobs. People might complain about uh, building. Okay, nice. Objectives, I, I guess, up that aren't active, your, uh, but this is causing uh, both sides to kind One of fight differently. The, the type of uh, strategy that you need to attack this island uh, is not just okay. you know shift W into the point that can get you some success in squad. That means the radio's on the east side somewhere. Actually, West need some good me. supported combat uh, or combined arms flanks. Anybody have eyes on that uh, BMP or BTR, sir? So infantry from the Marines trying to push out on this west side again. This radio, I don't know if that's been dug down just yet. It's still up. I'm going to remove the outline so we can see a bit cleaner of a view here. But this is a, a Marine fob that we saw earlier get knocked down by the, uh, the BMP. You have infantry coming to clear it out. So that way they can stay in control of uh, Boris. Uh, so very Russian-controlled island here. Up, Marines up. now uh, pushing on the east side. And if they are smart, they should get a Lodgy. Uh, support this uh, this All right. this Already eastern up, push, yes. but they also They're might just up. push in. 
Okay. Yeah, Mortars down, you're not gonna get any help from us. UAV's right, coming up. Four, yep. four and five, get ready, get in a position with us. <laughs> position up there. Super Milsim Island. <laughs> Super Milsim Island. So it looks like they're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna have uh, fully loaded um, LAVs, a couple LAVs. Sergeant J S seems to be. Oh, we assaulted from the south because the tree lines covers a lot of it. Uh, we has, uh, uh, has a lot of bushes started, to the south. Started, started on this red line. This will be good. Started like like this, like right there. And and they want a creeping barrage from east to west. It looks like, as you have a couple LAVs prepping got for it. Got the this is kind of cool. I'm hoping it works. Nice. All right. Oh, this is so badass. If we have any helo pilots, go ahead and resupply the south mob. South west mob. And with, uh, LAVs, you got a... So at least 600 build and some ammo. LAV crew just decimating and deleting that helicopter that came in. Fortunately for Russia, they did just drop supplies. Um, you have 2,000 ammo, almost 2,000 build. So plenty of defenses. Uh, plenty of ammo for... Uh, you're anti-tank, and you just got so much around here. So, LAVs, the plan it looks like, they push in, they said they want to push in the south side. They want to push in around this, uh, maybe somewhere where they can actually dismount their infantry properly, but they need to be careful because of so much... Oh! AAV is laying into it with the grenade launchers, and there you go, right before the assault, laying into it. It's going to actually knock out a bunch of infantry. They're going to be scrambling, trying to repair. And there's that first warning shot. So all those red outlines on the point. And it's going to be chaotic here in a second. Look at all the red bars pop up. Because if it's a red bar, that means they are dead, Zo. And there it is. You see a, a couple, three just running off. They say, I don't want that smoke. Artillery is going to just land, and there it goes, nearly wiping everything. And we're going to follow in our LAVs as they assault. LAV starting to push as the creeping barrage does its job. Going from east to west, LAVs right below us trying to land as well. You need to snake through the little island as now you also have a uh, marine boat. And this island just absolutely peppered with artillery. LAVs trying to land on shore now. Be very careful with all those obstacles that the Russians had built. See, dropping some smokes so that way the infantry can properly dismount. There you go, infantry dismount. Full squad dismounting, and they're gonna start charging right at the objective. Here you go, infantry swarming the point now. And oh, they're all going the same spot. You would have thought maybe you want to be a bit careful and watch your spacing. But here you go. Already probably failed to have, didn't it? And there it is. Good assault. Now it's not done yet. You still have a, a few infantry for Russia on the south side. And honestly, if Russia's paying attention, they should try to assault again uh, with artillery, defensive artillery back on the island. The good initial push, but you still have to hold on to it. Mr. Peanut down low. Now. We're losing chevrons. You guys need to get rallies up on the coastline. Get one or two of your guys. Oh, no and rallies. Get, Nobody get, got their get, rallies get just yet. Not quite sure what those... Uh, I, I don't know what they're using this uh, Carl Gustav for. Chevron. BMP is 
Now you have Ryan and Citizen Z, the only Russians left on the objective, and trying to. Wow, I'm actually surprised. They went for the airstrike? And the delayed explosion here, they went for the airstrike instead of the artillery? I'm I'm floored actually. No way. I mean, now you have mortars landing. Uh, I am I am shocked. Russia does okay, everything great, and then they... We need you guys to push in. Oh, some hold on a second. These down. mortars are now doing it. You got yeah, Russia dude, pushing off Jar 985 over. as well. Yeah. Bailey Swiggums goes down, but Chino, Mr. Peanut, they're up as well. Oh, and they got it to neutral. The issue is you have enough infantry that if they, uh, if they do have some mortars... Ryan knocks out one, trying to go the reload with the pistol. Bonadou... Oh, Ryan turns back around. We have a repair station to the uh, southeast, so go ahead and use Oh, that. Ryan. He's in a standoff oh, now. Bonadou is going for the grenade. Oh, he knocks him out. The grenade might have dropped. Needs to be very careful if your Marine's outside. Oh, and he, he did throw it in. Ryan gets blasted with a grenade. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Little standoff at the end there. Oh, just the poof of smoke. Um, Russia, honestly, they had this. This this would have been perfect if they just dropped artillery the moment they lost the island. Um, and they just thought way too hard about it, tried to get cheeky with We're the airstrike. Um, 307 tickets. So losing about 100 tickets in the yeah, assault, yeah. that's legit. If they would have held on with another uh, artillery strike, the Russians, this could have been very tough for them to, uh, the Marines to break. And now, unfortunately, you're going to be set up on Fermont, which it looks like there is at least a Russian fob. Push that, uh, fucking Lodgy off. It's stuck. But we'll have to see. Either way... When we got to the island, most of them were just fried by the arty. There was just bodies everywhere. Uh, where's that repair station at? As true as that is, whatever the... Whatever AAV, probably Squad 4's AAVs, whichever ones uh, had lit it up with 40 mic, that actually caused so much chaos that when the artillery started landing, there were already so many Russians down that they couldn't do anything. So uh, Marines doing really well to use every part of their arsenal in that attack. Uh, Russia honestly just fumbled with the response. Could have very well... This, this map is just throwing me through a, for a loop. Could have very well... Um, knocked him out as now you have uh russians have fully lost control of their nice little boris island uh would have been good but that is how it goes bmp just killed i don't know what trying to figure out actually where that bmp is the brdm up here um five to hit mines oh yep hit mines on the south side so there there have been a bunch of mines on the on the road here to play around the lab, so or tell your guys to spawn them in and get a boat. Um, labs, make sure you're full. This was a really well defended island. I think they needed you, some uh, ATGMs. Uh, they needed uh, a little bit more, maybe indirect fire bunkers, um, and then just a nice uh, art arty response. But good effort by by Russia. All right. So, uh, is any lab available for transport, or are you all damaged? Yeah, we're going up to repair. That's fine, that's okay. fine. Uh, BMP, oh, God. you see... I think that was right, from BMP here. BMP is, uh, two mark. Yeah, BMP hey, two. Uh, squad you actually have one. crewmen dismount, so that and way they could get, can uh... Get me. They can get Our other labs are, binos on this, uh, so good position for the BMP. The BMP oh, has this oh, whole, uh, kind of river basin on lockdown. And he's my RTB. Oh, hold on a second. What? Tofod spoils the party with a nice little uh, random <laughs> lone wolf flank here. Uh, my heli's coming to pick us up somewhere if we can. Dodge but this is BMP. what's uh, ahead of the Marines. Sure, I mean, yeah, never mind. I, I just, I really don't think there's a way that Russia can win this now. E even... Uh, 
they have almost 400 stuff. tickets. It's 400 tickets to 600, and they have only two more objectives to capture. Russia's best chance was holding on to fire. It, it, like, if you're going to give up your first two objectives hey, as defense... Hey, mortar fob. I just watched one of our mortars disappear. Uh-oh. Hey, nothing. Tell your guy to stay in main. Yeah, you have Russians down Chad, below now. They were on the phone. mortars. Looks like they uh they just got killed. Oh no, here it is. Jason, he's trying to maybe he's going to there mortar goes. the enemy on Boris. Oh, there's no there's no ammo actually for him. So, uh, Russia, maybe if they're being clever, they can actually dig down some of these radios, to try to get some tickets. But I really don't see it. Luck with four. They've got four transports up there. There's just not Russia much Russia can do right now right, to, to stop the, uh, the Marines. We're going to pick up as many as we can. Helo inbound. Good right, push now. Next objective is this dome. You see this uh, red outline dome. Hey, and uh, Marines are already off. set up oh. just wave, just wave for a nice attack, shot, Bob. But Bailey Squiggins, Wavy Jones, uh, Ryan, sure Lane, Pickett okay, already is, pushing them. He's on four mark. Uh, somewhere around there. He's probably moved by now. But... And this is a hell of a push. Good shots. Just a handful of infantry right now. As they, the, the Marines had just gotten this fob up in this basin, and it is kind of a... It's a very odd choice for a fob, actually. Because if you look at how they have yeah, to fight, Sweet Hagrid was taking advantage of it break. earlier. Not sure if uh, Top Hood will see Sweet as he's coming down the hillside. Hey, but Maybe. this fob is kind of in a basin. They've got the low ground. He does take out Taunter, but Top Hood knocks out Hagrid after. So it's kind of like down at this, this very low ground. They actually have to fight up and over in order to get to the hab so wait what is jay doing over here jay like fought himself through a couple of russians and he is just sitting in the open off all by his lonesome not quite sure how that's gonna go knocks out one off to our right lane goes down and his russian buddy behind us doesn't see a thing not quite sure how i mean this is it's so wide open and dark that you can just sneak around. Is that a that is a that's a marine? Uh oh, that is a hot drop. That is an yeah, incredibly hot drop. They actually dropped right next to a BTR. What did they? No, we're good. We're good. We're good. They don't. The BTR didn't even notice. Un. Uh oh, this is about to be really bad for these marines. They need to figure out. I don't know what this BTR is doing. Steel and twisted? Here, Seven, what is happening? There's a 30 mic right on us. We need help ASAP. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Yeah, we're working our way there. This is one of the most epic standoffs. Is Steel, did he run out of ammo or something? I'm so confused as to why this is the situation that we're all staring at. I think we decrewed it. Oh, there he goes. Now he's up. <laughs> <laughs> right after the words, I think we decrewed it. All hell breaks loose. And the BTR. Oh my goodness. Maybe Steel was AFK or something chaotic? I have no idea. Oh, Fritz! This, that's an AAV. And this AAV actually engines the BTR AVs have a boatload of health. And he's going to try to use that 50 cal. He might win this. Oh, good ambush. Yeah, BTR is very hurt and lost at engine. AAVs, you don't want to mess around with them. And hold on a second. You have sniper. What? He, well, he is a sniper. Medics, you have no other AT. Um, LAV. Squad 1's LAV should be able to push in soon. You also have a couple infantry. Jay is AT and Callet, but they've got a long way to go. And now you yeah, have one. Sniper. Is that BTR near you? Yeah, the 30 mic's right on the radio. If we can hear him, we can't see him. Okay. 
This is where uh, Sniper... But we're going to engage. You can actually hear the hammers if you're being... Yeah, we're not sure if, if you're paying radio, attention. So we're just trying to get guys up. Uh, we'll be back up in dead. about four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, medic. Enemy here. It's close. I need your buddy. Sniper. Just so you can see how tough it is to see through this. GL smoke. Around here. G this is actually really good GL smoke. Kind of obscures the gunner view for the BMP or BTR. Hey, so I'm oh, thinking fuck. we dig Squad 3's radio down and you move it further up do. once we have the Squad 8, like where he's yeah, at. Yeah, Russians like running to the A to the BTR trying to see through the grass. The and the hat. I think that BTR might be BTR is... Well, he's not Go fully up. up. Maybe it's worse outcome, I don't know. Yeah, I got just shot too, buddy. He's just There's trying to get a different position. The radio. And you can see... The outline's black right here, running up to the radio. And the LAV from Squad 1 is just is really taking their sweet time. Just as I say that, LAV... Nice pounce! And that might just save this radio. Black digs down the radio and then sniper pulls out his rifle oh he just barely misses black has to pull out his uh bandage they both pull out bandages black bandaging himself sniper trying to pick up the medic and balancing and black might oh no black gets ambushed and just stuck in two mines wasn't sure if he wanted to keep up his rifle or go for the Revive and hold on a second. Now you got Collet. I mean, this what is, is so party? close. Collet running up towards Black. Black is bandaging and he goes for it. He's got one more though. Okay. Not so, Bossin. Oh, he thinks he's gonna yeah. get it. We gotta figure out where their hab is. He at least saves it from the bleed. Not Bossin decides to pull out his RPG. Grenade RPG. What's that might be mid. Oh, he. <laughs> 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 I don't even understand. Oh my so. god. Boston is completely I don't is there are things happening here that can I can only explain as squad. This is what squad is, everybody. If you're ever worried, a lot of people okay. come and they ask me, they say, hey Moy, I'm really worried. Um, you know, if I play squad, so I, I'm gonna, yeah, you know, I'm gonna be too much of a new player. I'm gonna be a detriment to my team. Don't worry. Every there's times where you have things like what not Boston did. He probably has hundreds of hours of squad. Sniper on black, run into each other, literally shoveling each other. They literally do not realize they're enemies. They don't realize it. They don't understand what's happening. Sniper run goes down, not Boston knocks him out, and then Callet should see not Boston now. There is so much confusion. Scuba Steve off to his left, doesn't see him, right. and there he goes! Finally on bleed on out, and oh my god! Do we know where their hab is? Um so I know there was a winner in this firefight, but I truly believe neither side should have won. I just can, I don't, okay. So the radio will go down, um, despite the best effort of the Russians to All make right, it stay alive. Have manually and then do the <laughs> so radio will go down. Scuba it's Steve and not Boston somehow it. come up uh, uh, in the BMP. contest of who uh, can lose one. the firefight quickest. Well, they lost it just, uh, just slow enough there. I, I have no idea how this even happened. Um, here you go, guys. We're moving on to another firefight. As an RPG slams in the side of Second Sun Rising. <laughs> and there are some of y'all out there that said Manicugan, the flooded version, was not going to be entertaining. Okay? <laughs> LAV ambushing the BMP, and BMP chooses to use an autocannon instead of the ATGM. And the BMP just tears right through it. That's all their armor for now. That is all their armor for now. BTR goes down. Oh, well, BTR uh, we did just spawn in. Watch the, uh, 
Westmost Road. Uh, so I assume that's probably what their lodges are taking. And here you go. 297 vehicles. tickets for the Marines, 536 for the Russians. So, I mean, it is definitely not over. And especially not when uh, the Marines lose another AAV. So, we're going to leave the outlines and name tags on for just a minute because it is so, so hard to see. And we got a lot of infantry here. Uh, 289 tickets to 535. Marines can still lose this. Uh, I think the Russians are misplaying a little bit with their armor, but Marines have lost a lot of radios. You can see the radio. Oh, the radio actually was never dug down here. Um, they've lost a couple radios um, around. Ooh, I'm not sure if they even found this one. So we need to be very careful in losing a lot of vehicles. As we can see way out. Uh, oh, here we go. Just as I say, losing a lot of vehicles. A4, are you engaging contacts? Can you slap down a radio there? This is not what you want to be doing right now. Yeah, okay. This LAV, uh, I think, was just popped by Grey Knight. Fantastic just, uh, kill. Sure to switch to, like, normal squad leader or whatever. What you don't want to be doing right now is YOLOing your vehicles into the point. Uh, Russia, up until Are that you? happened, um, was actually... Uh, it had less armor than uh than the marines and now with that uh just kind of losing an lav it's about to be even because you're gonna have this lav with sigs inside of peregrine they're gonna have to rtb and you have twisted steel you might actually see him open up here um dead pixel in the center of our screen the lav 25 trying to dial in the btr 82 And might be a fantastic little ambush point, and it is. Yeah, LAV 25 opens up on the BTR, misses its first couple shots, and you should really be moving at this point. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm LAV 25. Well, BTR coming around the backside, and there's just so much terrain. Oh, we need to hold on to push. Pretty sure Hab is in that building. BTR-82, they don't even care. They were just shot at from their back left. They're going in for the kill shot. They know there's an LAV disabled here, and they're trying to find them, sniff them out. Ah, uh, fucking UAV glitch just happened. Everyone get ready. It's all Artie's bed. And he's actually swapping to the helicopter, and he might actually nail it. Okay. I mean, it's not ideal, but it happened. Oh, and he's distracted because an LAV-25 is now... Just out of range, actually. Visibility a bit rough with this terrain, and they might swap. Oop. Trying to figure out exactly where is safe as the BTR tries to find a nice hiding spot. Golden Potato right in front of them, but LAV 25 should mop it up. AAV also coming in from the, your, your front left is an AAV. Another LAV 25. This is one they're trying to hunt down earlier. He had found himself on the other side of the river, and that is going to be an easy BTR kill. Now they're sandwiched in between two LAVs, and easy does it. BTRs find himself in a mosh pit of marine armor, and 260 tickets to 493, but you can see there are a lot of Russians on the objective as what sounds like an artillery. Oh, what is this? Oh, the UAV. This is what they mentioned earlier. So this happens every once in a while. You you try to click. Uh, very rare squad bug, actually, now. You try to click we on your UAV. And it shoots it off somewhere distant. The so that is actually side. very, very unfortunate. Um, so the Marines are going to be out to get set up. Yeah, without a command right, asset on this one due to squad being squad. And we have two UAVs up in the sky right now. Actually, I wonder if we can see the little Russian one. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this one. I'm going to give it a second. That's, that's a good call. I didn't think about that. But no, they did not have a lot of time. There's the American one. Uh, guys, pop, uh, pop smokes. There you go. Get ready to push. Uh, mortars are inbound. Mortars As the inbound. Russian UAV. Like there's very, very hard to spot if you are not in an actual uh, admin cam. Very, very small profile. Earlier. Possibly on the front dead. Oh, he's dead. And so commands on both sides getting their UAVs up, trying to figure out some assault here. And you have so much infantry now 
that the Marines have overrun the HAB. This is the HAB right in the middle of the objective right here where Andy6499, Ryan, Hells, Helsing, JJ, um, John, John, and Collett from the Marines are actually pushed up so close. Same with JS1204 uh, off to your front right and center of your screen. They're actually uh, proxying the HAB. So Marines able to get extremely close. God, man. Th this is the map to do it. And Tandem knocks out the AAV. They're going to try to get a little bit of uh, reps on that. They don't want to lose that AAV so close to the objective. And the Huey, this is uh, extremely dangerous flying just close air support with that uh, machine gun on the HAB building. Very, very brave crew here. He is also smoking. And the Marines have overrun. You see him running in. You got John John Wise Disco. And I'm hoping they call in artillery, and they do. This is going to be... I'm not mad about this artillery. I think it's a little off. Um, but Russia, what they're doing is they're, it's like a defensive artillery. You got Marines on the most side, on the east side. You got Russians mostly on the west side. They're going to do artillery creeping from about here all the way up north. And that's going to uh, try to knock it out. Enemy Radios bled out. And Marines no longer have to worry about a fob. So whoever is on the point for Russia is going to be there. No respawns nearby for Russia. Artillery landing. And that, yeah, just a little east. I know why they did it. Nickname got absolutely blasted, actually. I know why they did it, but, you know, second second time, I think Russia, you just need to put it right on the objective. Don't be so cheeky. And artillery just... You needed it maybe a little bit earlier. Looks good though. I mean, like it ain't that bad. Also, All right, so now like we have one final point because there's nothing that Russia can do. I mean, yeah, you have. Uh, is it full flavor? He's a machine gunner left on the point. A bunch of smoke. I mean, he can try to do something. I guess he's. Oh, and he goes, full auto, knocks out one. If he can clear the point, that'd be insane. Uh, it's almost impossible, but hey, full full flavor has to do something. Now trying to find another one, and they're splashing around the water. Freaking each other out with a nice little IED blast ring to ringtone uh, soundboard. Wow, and he actually the Marine managed to knock out the machine gunner while vaulting. That is a tough way to go if you are a uh, full flavor, but there you go. Dude, you think you make an ammo run to me? I need ammo really bad. Nine, we're on our way for that logic boat. Green Knight, trying to pull I'm out the AP, Russian <laughs> anti-tank, just trying to make a little bit of fun from this, and he's not going to be able to do it because you got machine gunners lasering him. I mean, we just have so Metzgar, he's just doing a good job holding his angles. American Sniper able to float around the objective without much of a problem. Somebody. Oh, hold on a second. LAVs and BTRs in combat and steel and twisted get their revenge. LAV, and this is kind of cheeky. Um, I mean, I guess technically it's not main camping. You know, because it's, it's not main camping. Um, but just kind of using their LAV to, to hold that main entrance. That's completely fair. Um, yeah, completely fair game there, but nice little uh, response by the Russians to clear out their lodging. Let's go ahead and get a pickup to the southeast corner. Southeast corner. 
Yeah, yeah, most people can walk. I'm gonna get a helo pickup. Okay, okay. I'll give you a pickup zone and you'll just make it over there. It sounds good. Yep. Southeast somewhere. South, southeast. We can go right there. South. You see the marker? Yeah, uh, Avery, we're on our way. ETA 30 seconds. I, I think it's. We can probably dig down this rear half if anyone wants to. I was gonna say RPG I'll actually. Go think he, and then, yeah, we'll pick you, up you got a little uh, to too anxious, like SRB anymore. Jason. I mean, that was a, it would have been a great yeah, shot if he hit it, but should have waited maybe. Um, so it looks like over command chat they're talking about getting a, a pickup, um, helicopter pickup, so that way you can get a hot drop on the point. A lot of people are just gonna start uh, just pushing out towards the objective on foot, as you can see the blue wave. This is the final objective, uh, antenna facility, and I think tickets are about even. Nope, 289 tickets to 424. So, I mean, Russia grinded out a lot of Marine Corps tickets in this last one. Hey, uh, Squad 4, oh, shit. Uh, there's going to be a BTR probably near you guys, just north of you. And let's take a look at vehicle-wise. Marines DMP. just have two AAVs. Oh, DMP, oh boy. The... Scout cars back up for Russia. You have a BTR back up on the point for Russia. And this might be a, a very difficult point to push. You have this huge, it's like a, it's like a crater pool. What is this? Would you guys like some assistance in killing that? I don't even know. Um, Do you want to come through the forest with us? I know it's not ideal for you, but if we're in front of you, you should be okay. Um, oh, this is going to be funny. Up to you. Totally Nexus and Steady High Life, they're in a Lodgy MTLB. They are super fun. And Golden the, Potato uh, is in a Lodgy okay, AAV, so and they are just going to miss each other. They wouldn't be able to shoot each other anyway. Be quick. Unable to do anything, and now Golden down low, he's in a regular AAV. You might be able to see it. Sheep, I believe, has yeah, AT. And he does. Squad two, BTR now. BTR. Yeah, you got him. Or he got that you. That is a know. fantastic little shot with his AT. He's not going to have any follow up, so good kill. Um, LAV is still trying to open up on. I'm trying to figure out where exactly they're fighting. LAV, yep, squad two. He's doing some nice combined arms. BTR so that. On green. BTR on green. That mark, flank mark. on the western side is going to hold due to some nice little ambush by the, uh, the Marines in infantry here. But this big, big kind of forest push is going to be really tough. Uh, you have this LAV right below us, center of your screen. Bunny Chongo and Y Teddy actually take, took some AT, so they're going to RTB, try to repair up. As you see this, uh, the BTR straight ahead of them, steal and twist it. So unfortunately for the infantry, uh, for the Marines, you have... Well, Mr. Steal Your Toes. <laughs> there should be enough... Mr. Steal Your Toes just misses and he's gonna aggro and that should oh doesn't matter looks like Callet tries to get him as well but unfortunately the uh the engine is still up so btr is gonna be able to take a few shots and just rtb that is good though marines trying to relieve a little bit of pressure making sure they don't just uh have their their line demolished by a vehicle uncontested oh my god you can hit mines under the Damn. And hold on a second. Is this a... Oh, they got a hot drop coming in. Looks like it's better to push... Green hot drop coming in right next to the objective. You need to be very careful because they're going to lose their rotors, and they do. Good. I'm going to continue at my current... And they don't I care. They two. drop the radio, and they are moving out. That is a little aggressive flying, and Russians seem to be none the wiser. Well, it looks like Cheater Sponge did hear it. Not seeing. I'm surprised. Th this should. You should have been able to just push this almost immediately, knowing that helicopter went down right there. Sergeant J. Sarge, Squad Bob 6969 out. Might see Cheater Sponge, not yet. And Cheater Sponge is the only one who's kind of aware of what's going on right now. 
Little MG with the scout car. You see Ray holding that line with the scout car. Romeo Zulu pushing in with the MTLB. And you look at all this razor wire, actually. That's insane. They've actually razor wired the entire perimeter of the Russians. Guys, be ready to hook them up. This is all, yeah, they, they actually made an outline for it. That's actually really impressive. So they've made an outline of where they want the razor wire, and they actually oh, did it. That's kind of cool. All right, we're gonna change our tactic. You're right. Oh, the and there it goes. I'm not on that app. We got Scout our car that trying to stare now. off right outside the nice. wire, and you're gonna Set have a up, massive push of Marines here in a second. Helicopter spinning up just on the other side. Scout car should get a nice shot at it. Doesn't see it just yet, but there you go. Helicopter trying to spin away, and he's kind of going backwards. Oh, no. Fuck. That's all you can say. <laughs> oh, pilot doesn't like that, and I don't blame him. Nice positioning by the scout car, and he's going to back up a bit as infantry now. You'll see big infantry push. I'm going to I'm gonna say it, guys. I think this has been one of the more entertaining invasion rounds in recent memory, and it's all because this map is completely different, and it forces you to play differently. I don't, I don't care if that's a controversial opinion. This is a very, very unique map. Very interesting. You need a lot of different uh, approaches this has been really, really cool. And, oh, you're about to have, is this artillery? Oh my goodness. This may be the end for both Russia and USMC. So you have artillery landing and it's gonna be landing almost right on. Are you coming in? Okay, I know there's a lot of red and blue. Okay, you see all the red and blue guys? Focus on the horizontal bars that are about to appear. Artillery is about to lay into this fob, and I think it's going to blow up almost everybody on screen. This is a creeping barrage. It's going to go up from our kind of like top left of the screen all the way down to the southeast. And first ranging shot lands and lands. Oh, and we got a, a helicopter landing on the right side of your screen. He actually lost his engine in that. Helicopter is about to go down right as artillery lands. And there it goes. Look at all the Russians just get turned to dust here. So many infantry going down. And you're going to have blue infantry starting to push here in a second, too. Just bodies and bodies on the point. Helicopter on the right side of your screen just pops as well. Everything being deleted on the objective. And Marines are starting to encircle. Getting ready for that last couple shot or two. And in the middle of that Echo team, what is he doing? He just rolls right in and does a one last supply drop. <laughs> Logi man don't care and Russians all respawn. The Hab was saved and this is going to be amazing last hold. Russians all spawning in and just spilling out of the warehouse. North side is just full of the blue wave. BTR now, Steel Twisted had run in. Ray, oh, they actually, they had used the warehouse for cover. They had popped smoke and actually stayed in the warehouse as a barrage went so they didn't get hit by it. And then BMP now running in as well. BMP with the LAV. Oh, he gets tracked by, by Marine AT, unbelievable. Fantastic combined arms play as Paragon and Jamshi just mop up the BMP too, all thanks to a clutch rocket shot by Hexproof. And here you go. It is all happening on the final objective. Nice little defensive smoke, and this smoke is in order to let the infantry push out without getting BTR shot. Here, BTR is on the objective. LAV needs to be careful. 
LAV coming in right through the smoke. BTR defensive smoke. LAV is actually on fire now. And finally, the BTR is able to get shots on target. Oh, no way. BTR is about to pop. LAV is about to pop as well. Harrigan tries to take out his repair tool. You got so many trying to repair it. BTR and LAV are just down to, well, nothing. BTR is dead. LAV somehow making it out alive. It, this is just such a chaotic last hold. LAV 25 is going to make it out alive. Toxic Taco is inside the hab area trying to defend it. Why Teddy is alive. Golden Potato just gone down. And Toxic Taco loses it. And this is... Unbelievable. Oh my god, it's driving me insane! This is once again, the, this is Russian artillery on the hab, just... Ah! Just, 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 just shifted a little bit. Oh my god, it's every time the artillery is just so wrong. They like all just almost nail it. And if they just had artillery on their objective twice now, they would have won. I don't think there's any spawn. Oh, no, there is! This might be a, the biggest brain play that ever big brained play. So you're going to have artillery knock out the hab, knock out the radio, kill everybody. You might not have enough infantry. You might have enough. Oh, no, they're shoveling. Yep, yeah, this is big brain here. Iron Rust and Sarge, they're shoveling. If they can keep it alive. Oh, no. Iron Rust went down. You have one more up. So they're going to try to push this with the... I, I, I don't know. I don't think it's the right play. But you have Russia. They're all pulling in. And I like this. You actually have Mustache Daddy. He's trying to suppress as the stream of Russians come in. And I don't even know if he can see anything. But at least, you know... <laughs> God damn it. Okay, what this was a from Russians How far from the into the match was south. that? Now I need to go back and, and DMCA myself. God damn it. All right. There we go. And this is actually I think they stopped the cap. We have sanitized the objective. They might they almost Oh, this is going to be so close. It is at a 90 this is 80% uh -oh. losing chevrons the Three south points. side. It was the biggest of brain plays. Yeah. The artillery knocks out the radio. I didn't see this hab on the south side. Russians spill into the point. They need to get on right now. It is. We're starting to get picked off and we're losing chevrons. Oh, they stopped the cap. They have no spawn, the Marines. They are stuck at 95%. And Russians are spilling into the south side. They're going to flip the cap here. They are capping back. Unbelievably clutch. 173 tickets to 292. LAV on the south, or in the, not south side. He's about to get picked off by the BDRDM, and he does. What an amazing play. Artillery coming in clutch, proving me completely wrong, laughing in my face, saying, ha, ah, moi, commentate that. Knocks out the only spawn the Marines had anywhere close to the objective. And the South Push Marines are just absolutely besides themselves at how they're losing it. And now you're just going to have slowly picked off. This has been wild, you hearing him say, and it's going down nearly 50%. Infantry for Russia is going to just try to keep uh, just picking them off one by one. This is now turning into a, a last-ditch effort firefight south side of the compounds here. Full uh, two or three squads now. GG. Oh, man. And for some reason... I don't understand this at all. Yeah, the Marines are considering themselves as having lost the yeah, game. Yeah. Huey dismounts pretty much right where... Oh my goodness, what a shot! RPG it's right into the front cockpit. Hey, Moy, is there a back cockpit? Of course it's the front cockpit. You know, I meant front through the... Doesn't matter. Helicopter's destroyed.
landing right exactly right. where the Russians. When do we have a helicopter? Why are we flying them in a point? Uh, I'm thinking. So the the remaining people that are alive were all posted up in this building. There was like 30 of them in there, and they all revived each other, and that's what's going on. And then the scout car is killing anyone that's dumb enough to peek it, which is half the team. So. And. In a team? Hold on a second. The commander actually rage quit. Is that actually what happened? The commander did rage quit. Did he leave? He did. Oh my god. Oh no, he got kicked for mic spam. Oh no! He thought he was winning and maybe he was just spamming on microphone? I mean, we just had to mute him a second ago. He got kicked for mic spam because they thought they were going to win and they weren't and then he wouldn't. Oh my goodness. Gets kicked for mic spam, 130 tickets to 268, and now the Marines are actually tilting. They've been winning. How long has this match been going on? For almost an hour and a half, the Marines, unquestionably just dominant, and one small setback I think has actually caused the entire team to Scout just is haunting us again. you can hear it in their voice they are just so we're depressed at the situation they don't know what yeah, to do we need a close up. unbelievable so uh russia has now flooded back onto the point antenna facility nearly capped you're going to have and what's what's even better is both russia and uh, the Marines had destroyed their own fobs. Russia no longer has a fob on the objective. And uh, if they did, we can see this radius. They need to get it within uh, or outside of this little um, kind of opaque line here. Um, but Russia, need they don't have a spawn anywhere else other than the south side. Command chat, from what I can tell, don't actually realize there's a hab. They thought they had just been revived and they lost this fight all from revives. Hey, we, uh... Some oh my for, goodness, uh, and there it is. Uh, that might be the killing blow. Sweet Hagrid. You guys love those yeah, combat engineers who just, you know, the, for 80 minutes, you think he's wasting his time. And then one, one moment you see him just uh, wander around and run into a radio. Sweet Hagrid and Caden have been running around, and Damn I've it. mentioned before that they had a couple radios go down earlier, or at least HABs go down. And so a combat engineer team has actually been doing the dirty work, knocking out uh, HABs. And they hadn't have gotten a radio kill earlier, but this will be a radio kill. This is going to be the last spawn, and it is up for this handful of Marines. They have about 80 seconds, maybe 70 now. Dead Pixel and Katrina as well, trying to do something. And Sweet Hagrid... Aprexed. Well, they got infantry dismount to try to get the radio back up. And honestly, if I'm Sweet Hagrid and, and K Bin, I, th I think I might just do nothing. Oh. <laughs> or, or stand up and get killed. I mean, that also works. So, Sweet Hagrid goes down. He does a Kaden, uh, an auto rifle north of Guys, him. I think we need to come up with a plan on how we're going yeah, to we do, the we last objective. I'm, I'm thinking we farm them for kills and start using mortars. I'm thinking we, because uh -oh. it's, it's, it's getting desperate. That was an amazing push. Uh-oh. Yeah, we we also just need to like like fall back idea. and reset. That too. I've but reset. We... I'm not pushing them anymore. I'm not pushing them anymore. Can't... Russian helicopter flying yeah, very low to the river. Map. I'm placing a bunch of pop creation markers. Trying to come in. For that uh, resupply, and he's got to be very careful. Oh, he's got an LAV idea, 25. Like I, I mean, like of course we can push him, but I mean like close he, enough to just don't give up. at least try him, to take like, shots at him. And yeah, see, and they, LAVs they just keep on coming going to. You might have seen yeah, them. They didn't take any shots. Inside. But anyways, I come around the south side of this hab yeah. and. The enemy half should be around B11 on that mark. Well, it looks like the helicopter's not going to have to worry too much. So, halves back up. You got Sweet Hagrid and yep, then uh, Caden do go the down. So, good of, defense. Um, I mean, like the biggest thing that is going to kill uh, the Marines right now is is themselves. If they start tilting and start just 
just throwing, they will lose. It's 106 tickets. I, I think what Command is not realizing is that... Uh, we just need basically mortars, I would say. We can even smoke them. Like your As they talk about just mortaring them to death. Um, they are up by 200 second, tickets. Uh, all over me. That Try is a lot of tickets. Yeah, the, the attacks were very clinical, but... Honestly, aside from uh, maybe this attack and the last one at Fermont, a lot of uh, the Marine attacks on the Russian positions, they weren't that big, which means you didn't lose a lot of vehicles, which means you didn't lose a lot of tickets. You kind of lost it every once in a while, but very quick attacks earlier on, neither side really lost tickets. Now, 92 tickets left for the Marines, and... Well, wait, Scott Six. You know what? Go northeast of your location. see if they have anyone uh, inside. We can place a radio right there. chopper gun now? Oh God! Hey, Six. I got. I'm sending one of my guys with a logi to you. So just hold it down there. Helicopter trying to. There's a full coordinated uh, murder squad east of us. <laughs> oh, that's the, there's the murder guys, squad. There's the coordinated road. murder squad. Like Let's see. Uh, let's see if the coordinated murder yes, yes, squad yes, 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 you're, agree, you're right. lives up to its name as uh, you're not, you're not rail snowing optimized so and mp40 really are stuck in between like, yep like, there he goes faded gets I, yeah, one the tilt is just be it's insane command is now freaking out Husky JJ, Tired Citizen Z, and 18 Silver mopping up the last bit of Marines in this basin. And you can hear it in their voice. The Marines are just so confused. Um, and this is, I think this engagement is going to be the deciding factor. If the uh, the BTR can, yeah, can kill an LAV, that might just be about it. There, so we're coming back now. Land wherever you think is safe. That's not gonna get uh, vehicled. Yeah, I f I'm thinking about my move marker, but it's got two. Guys, can you in the meantime, you can us? push. You can yeah, push. Yeah, we can get uh, Yeah, guys. You basically just hold. So the they're the thinking vehicle. about dropping a fob right around here. It's not a bad bad position. Oh, LAV 25 knocks out the helicopter, and that is a huge kill. Sorry. Is that good over there? Or? You need that. Uh, and it's going to stop their supply, there. and it's going to stop their uh, their scouting, which is huge right now. Removing that uh, ability to just quickly see where everybody is is going to be very advantageous for the Marines. Let's steal and twist it. This is going to be close. Uh, this is going to be our last hope with the helicopter thing, since we're in 80 tickets and we're just bleeding them. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, dude, do you want to meet uh, Squad 8 boat and drop a radio down? Just south of you. Marine helicopter flying in low, and they're going to try to do something a little dangerous. No um, idea right where here, the enemy uh, is. Further north. But BTR is right around the horizon, and oh no, they flew right into the BTR. They might be quick enough to get out of That's dodge, BTR. though. That's a BTR. That's a fucking BTR. Yes, one more touch. Oh, they actually did it. Fucking hell. I'm freezing my mind. <laughs> BTR. Helicopter is going to be okay. BTR yeah, might BTR. now have a nice shot in the LAV. And this is what can make or break the game right here. BTR is going to poke out and see an LAV. Nope, he doesn't see him yet. LAV doesn't see him either, staring at each other. There you go, LAV is going to move front and gets good shots on target almost immediately, but loses the engine. No way, that, is, that might be game saving right now. BTR goes down and that is some fantastic gunning by the LAV crew. They need to get that fire out and save this vehicle. And they might just do it. Yeah, 
No! The infantry! Russian infantry! Might have just done it! And you need to dismount. You need. It doesn't matter. You need to get on the other side, and you're going to try to do it. You need to try to get it out quick. LAV, if this LAV stays up, this would be incredibly huge for the chances of uh, success for the Marines. You don't want to lose these tickets right now. Oh, he's going to do it. Can you put a UAV up so I can target stuff directly? Wow. And he dies! Give me a second. Oh my god, he died because he was bleeding from the fire. And he... I don't even... I don't understand. That is inc That's so clutch. It's alive. It is alive, and they need food. to go get that quick. So, here you have 64 tickets to 215. Toxic Potato, what is he? He is a an SL, and you have Don't Second Sun Rising and Taunter. Watching the LAV. He is and they run over. <laughs> they run over his buddy. Uh oh. Okay, never mind. Then. You have to reverse. You have to reverse. You have to reverse. You have to reverse. Oh, that's gonna cost him. He's gonna try to push the boat away from him. And you you have enemy infantry. Enemy track LAV. All right. Uh, is there a radio on the He's trying to push the the boat off of his buddy. Give me a second. Uh oh. Uh, oh fuck, fuck. am I bug as well? Yeah, I'm bug as well. <laughs> oh, never mind. There it goes. Oh, they see each other. Guy on it. Guy on the uh, enemy on it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Russian moving left. Oh, combat engineer just says, let's get out of here. No, dude, get your rifle up. It's two on one. And he's tossing yes, smoke. That's going to help help the Russian as well, though. For shame. And... Eight hit some underwater mines. There you go. Goes full auto. I'm going to need ammo. And somehow, there it goes. Combat engineer now trying to go around. There's a little burst fire, and he's getting shot from the cliffside now. This fight over this LAV. Oh. He's just freaking out, man. He sees the legs. He sees the legs. No, he moved off to the right before he saw the legs. I thought he saw it. Get on the south. Get on the south. We're out of orders. Oh, and now he's getting shot. I don't see a lot of infantry. He's going for the revive, even though he knows there's infantry. What is this? I should be able to get it out of yeah, there are. And he hears the... Uh, yes, he hears the bandage, there and there you go. Unbelievable. He is not even the half of it. And here you go. This is a UAV. And this is the final attempt. And hold on a second. LAV just got popped by, by AT. I think Echo Team. Yep. Oh, Grey Knight uh, actually knocked it out. And you have BMP. He's going up to try to do an overwatch position. Hold on a second. I'm getting lost in my uh, camera here. And LAV, you can hear the booming shots from the autocannon. 38 tickets to 201. You have a UAV up. You have infantry now from the Marines pushing every angle. Russia is trapped. And LAV has finally popped on the east side despite the best effort by the Marines. It is all coming down to this. BMP2 is the biggest piece of armor the Russians have. LAVs still up for the Marines, but it is honestly anyone can win this right now. It's one last big attack. And Russia is trying to get on the hillside to have a nice little overwatch position. And they see the LAV right there. Backing up and one shot. Easy as that. Bruh, did our LAV just get killed? Yeah, nah, I've lost two of them. There it is. 24, 24 tickets. tickets remaining. 194. Yeah, and this, there you go. This is the last gasp effort. And surrender, yeah. <laughs> no. Or we can, no. Or, 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 or we can try to 
push desperately. With... This has been an hour and almost 40 minutes now. Uh, one of the longest invasion I games. And even though yeah, um, Marines no, are down to 20 tickets, they can still win it with uh, one good push. Honestly, just human wave tactics at this Call point. Call it. That, We're all in the rocks, and if you can... Wave of 22. Guys. Nope, he can't. Let's uh, one more. From our only hab. Start and now it is up to this push times. down here. If they can knock out uh, Sturdy High Life, MLP. Oh, it looks like they actually almost got this push. The Marines need a push quick. First artillery landing on the objective. And there it goes. I'd kick my guys for not listening and Attacking, but they just died 19 anyway. tickets left and here it goes final artillery blast 19, 19 tickets start pushing 19 tickets they just need to finish it off here you guys if, if we somehow manage to take the last cap with 19 tickets left I'm gonna I, have we were literally to I, we might as well have got it we were literally 10 percent away not just with that attitude <laughs> it was unfortunate. Like too many of our people walked out and died, and that was it. It's okay. It happens. It happens. Thirteen tickets, and I don't think they're gonna get to it. It was a good invasion. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was actually a very good game. Did ring the map. See, even if you lose, that is a good, good game, and they're gonna try. But that already is done. So, thirteen yeah, tickets to one hundred eighty-one. One closest to an antenna, then we, we're gonna lose. A B A B T. Yo, squad, fucking whatever you are. No. Squad four with squad the A oh V trying to do it, trying to open it up. Thirteen tickets. I mean, a lot of everyone thinks it's Dunzo, but it is not Dunzo. And there you go. This final push. And they got twelve tickets. You can still do something. The forty mic just tearing into the buildings here. I pray he wins against this MTLB. And BMP now. Oh, honestly. Oh, if he sees it, he might see it. Oh, we are losing uh, radio E11. This might be the best chance here. And the BMP is getting shot by 50. And he might be able to knock him out. AAVP has no business killing a BMP2, but it's about to happen! He's reloading! Is he out of ammo? I, I didn't think to dig down the radio. That is a major oh, problem. is he out? There's no way he's out of 50. Oh, there you go. He reloaded. BMP just might get... Oh, he's on fire! No way, he kills it! BMP goes down to the AV, and the AV is gonna get killed by the BRDM. Unbelievably way, unbelievably crazy way to end it. <laughs> oh my god, insanity. There you go, GG's. Oh, 359 kills to 289, 111, 11, or 111 revives to 94. One of the best games I've seen in a very long time. G freaking G's. Oh man, GG's.